Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today, it's time for the outside worms to get out. Now, I'll show you what I've been doing over about the last week here. It's kind of a mess, but uh, you'll see when I show you what's happening here. The outside bin, of course, was outside last spring and summer, and then about November, I freaked out and brought it inside. And it's time for it to get back outside. Uh, I've been having a little trouble drying out the castings. So I show you there's a fan clipped right up top, and I don't normally advocate this except for this bin is over a foot deep, and I'm just not having any luck getting things dried out. So I'll show you what I've been doing. Got the fan here, blowing down into here, and I come in here and uh, rake it around and try and break up the clumps with my tool here. And then what I do is I have my half inch screen that I have been screening into this mortar tray here. So this mortar tray is finished and it's got some worms in it. I will go ahead and sift this through my one quarter inch and collect you know all of the the larger bits as well as the uh, the worms that are, are still in here. And once I get all the way to the bottom of the bin then what we will have is the ability to pick up this big monster and put them outside. Alright well let me put you down and we'll see what we can get finished. Okay, just for the video, I've turned off the screen a little bit, but I'll show you what I've been doing, trying to break up those clumps of sod, shake them out, and what I'm left with are these pieces of sod here, which I then am putting into the five-gallon bucket next to me. I've been doing this for probably more than a week now. As things dry out enough for me to, to sift, you can tell this is still just dirt. I did try to bait the worms out first by putting some food in here, but that didn't really go very well. I don't know if it's because of the bin being so large or what. As of right now, I've got almost two five-gallon buckets that will have to go back into the, the bin when it's finished. But I don't, I don't know if we'll get it done in this, in this particular sitting. We might have to come back. You know things are getting a little bit too wet when everything just clumps up into little balls like this. So these are too squishy. They'll have to go back in. The uh, outside temperature at night is pretty much over 40 now. So I don't feel bad about putting these guys outside. I know a lot of people just leave them outside all year. Uh, but now that they're in, the, maybe I'll have the uh, bravery to do it this year. But uh, until then, I am definitely going to uh, keep drying this out, and we'll come back tomorrow morning. Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today, the outside bin is done with its vacation, and it's going back outside. As you can hear by the numerous birds going on and on, we're definitely going to be needing a lid. So this bin here is 40 gallons. I'll put the metric below. Um, it was running all spring and summer of last year and then you know, about Thanksgiving I freaked out and brought it inside and so now that the temperatures are above 40 degrees at night for the most part and I'll put the Celsius below I can feel comfortable putting my worms back outside so I have sifted everything through a one half inch sieve and now I'm going to put the overs out here with the worms and then we're also going to give them some new leaves and some food all right, so let's have a look and see what we've got. So what we're going to do is we are going to start out with two five-gallon buckets of shredded leaves, mostly shredded, uh, from last fall, and we're going to put those in the bottom. I think that should uh, give it a nice base and keep the bottom of it pretty airy. Now I'm going to add the two five gallon buckets of the sifted overs and I'm going to put that on top. If you're liking this video so far, why not give it a muddy thumbs up? And if you're not a member of my worm family, why don't you click that subscribe button? And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Okay, 
Okay, now we can't really see a whole bunch of worms right now. Um, but I am going to do the final sifting of the stuff that was in here previously, and then they will get all of their little worm buddies back. So this is just the overs that didn't get digested over the winter time. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them some food. Okay, first of all, we're going to give them a little bit of weeds that I found, which I think this is called borage. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. And then there's also some Creeping Charlie, which I don't know the real name of. But that can be their green food for right now. And then they're also going to get a bag of kitchen scraps. Now, for the most part, this bin is going to be utilized for all of my weeding, and it won't get very many kitchen scraps. It'll mostly be for the garden items. So today, they're just going to get some banana, some avocado, some pizza crust, and I'm just going to cover that up with the weeds. And then this actually will have a lid that has 1 16th inch holes on the top to keep any sort of large critters out of it. The outside bin has its own playlist, and I will link that over there. If you want to see what happened when it was inside over the winter, I will link that over there. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and have a good day.